Under the Mechanical Engineering Technology program, we have several different options that the students can choose from. Um, we have uh, the computer-aided design and computer-aided manufacturing option. There's a machine tool technology uh, option and also a welding technology and an engineering science option as well. Our program right now is, has two specializations within it. One is the design, which is the traditional uh, mechanical technology program, which uh, students may choose to either go into the workforce or transfer to a four-year school offering a bachelor's degree in technology. Design specialization prepares students to go out uh, and work on the design side of, of manufacturing uh, and product development, product testing, design uh, as draftsmen or CAD operators. Uh, the other specialization is machine tool. This is geared more towards the manufacturing floor. That program is primarily deals with uh, preparing students right uh, for the workforce. My favorite thing about the mechanical technology program is that it takes the basics of machining and breaks them down from, to the simplest aspects. And as you grow through the program, it exposes you not only to, from the machining aspect, but to the design aspect using SOLIDWORKS or other CAMs, CAM and CAD softwares and further takes it into the CNC program. By the time you graduate, you're able to take an idea and go all the way from just the idea to design to the actual manufacturing of that product. Uh, the engineering science program prepares a student to encounter a wide range of activities including things relevant for mechanical engineering or electrical engineering or chemical engineering. Students leave with a really wide set of experiences that allow them basically to have a good start on whatever field they choose in the future. It's great to see students able to learn physics and be able to see the applications of physics to the wider world and so uh, we try to bring in examples of maybe from local industries and especially in courses like thermodynamics where we have a lot of community involvement where we can show them how uh, the principles of science and physics and engineering apply to the real world. The welding degree consists of four introductory welding classes, a safety and cutting processes class, an introduction to shielded metal arc welding class, an introduction to gas metal arc welding class, and an introduction to gas tungsten arc welding class, where they do all plate welding. Well, this is a great program to get into because it's, uh, it's something you can get a two-year degree in and then go make lots and lots of money. I mean, if you uh, look at a lot of two-year programs and they get out, they either have to transfer and go on to a four-year school and or uh, they go in the field and they just don't make as much money, you know, it's a high paying trade. I chose welding because I like working with my hands. That's basically it, I like working with my hands and what's better than mountain metal? Being in this program I hope will lead me to get into aerospace welding, welding airplanes. I like solving problems and welding has surely supplied that fulfillment. We're very excited here at JCC. Uh, with the introduction of a new program. It's called Industrial Equipment Technology. It's actually a certificate program. It's designed, well, for two purposes. To give a credential to people just starting out and also to provide a credential for people who are out working and who want to go into this area. I noticed that a lot of the students in the Electrical Technology Associate program were not really interested in an associate degree, transferring on to a four-year school. They were more interested in getting training. They wanted something very specific that they could apply to a job locally, and that's what this program provides. A lot of schools, a lot of high schools, have dropped all their hands-on courses to prepare students for college. So there's a there's kind of a, like a hole that was left. So the, the community colleges have picked that up a little bit. And if you're a hands-on person and you want to get a job uh, looking to work with the hands of the machining or any industry, going through the program would teach them the basics they need and uh, give employers the confidence that they're uh, bringing in somebody that you know, has the ability to learn and to move forward. JCC is amazing. I actually don't think I ever want to go anywhere else. It's a lot of hands-on work. I get to work in the shop and I also get to understand what there is in the real world. I don't just sit and do a whole bunch of stuff on paper. I get to go out and I do things in the shop. It's a lot to learn, but it's really fun. Going to JCC and, and experiencing the mechanical technology field has really opened my eyes to a lot of things and helped me at my current job working in quality control. 
uh, fully understand the machining aspect of my operation down there and, and help improve it and better it for the company. I, I would recommend JCC due to the, the small class sizes, the, the ability to have a, a personal relationship with the instructors and the knowledge the instructors have to share. They're very, every instructor I've interacted with has been very knowledgeable and more than willing to help you during class and then you know, go beyond class and help you externally. JCC offers a wonderful opportunity to students to train not only on the latest technology, but also the, the practical aspects of the technology as well. We not only uh, teach the students the theoretical aspects of all these different um, technologies, but also they get to use them and see the practical results of employing this latest state-of-the-art technology in producing something that is tangible in, in all our machine tool courses as well as welding courses and CAD CAM courses. People work on practical projects that are drawn from the real life examples of what is being used in the industry. And that is the biggest advantage of, um, of JCC programs.